so in the earlier two videos of anthrax we have talked about uh, or we have discussed about the and bacillus anthracis completely and in the second video about the anthracoids completely now we will see the difference between the bacillus anthracis and anthracoids which uh, is very confusing to many of the students but i will simplify it as easy as possible that you will not even forget it uh, anyhow if even if you want to forget it you will not be able to forget it because i have made it so much simplified okay and from now onwards we will never forget it and we will never never confuse between the uh, what is the feature of anthracis or what is the feature of anthracoids okay it will be very crystal clear to you all so how i have done is so i have written the features here so here are the features bacillus anthracis and the anthracoids now you first write about the first write the anthracoids in the anthra uh, anthracoid uh, uh, column okay so a n t h r a anthra this is anthra c oid anthracoid with penicillin i have written here now just write the features of the anthracoid in in the uh, diff in all the rows so a means arrangement arrangement of anthracoid is in the short chain now n means path it is anthracoid is non pathogenic except the bacillus cereus t means it shows turbidity in broth and once turbidity is present that means it has also got some motility that means motility uh, we also know about the motility from that so t for turbidity h for hemolysis it shows beta hemolysis r for it causes rapid uh, liquefaction of gelatin ac means there is absence of capsule in anthracoids and since it causes rapid gelatin liquefaction that's why there is no inverted foltry appearance there is no inverted foltry appearance and on the solid media with penicillin we do not see any growth if we add s or if there is o i d then if we add s o s and l then it becomes solid okay so solid media with penicillin we see no growth by the anthracoids now just write the opposite thing for the anthracis like here if you have written short chain so here just write the opposite that it is arrangement is long chain here you have written non pathogenic so here write pathogenic here you have written motile so here write non motile here you have turbidity is present so here write no turbidity is seen here you have written the hemolysis is there here you write no hemolysis is shown by bacillus anthracis if you have read, uh, written here rapid liquefaction then write here slow liquefaction if you have written here that the capsules are absent in case of anthracoids then just write the capsule are present in case of bacillus anthracis and that capsule is very characteristic that is it is made up of polyglutamate it is polypeptide capsule and then if you have written that no inverted foltry appearance is shown by the uh, anthracoids then just write here that inverted foltry appearance is shown by the anthracoids on gelatin stavagar sorry by the bacillus anthracis on gelatin stavagar if you have written that no growth is seen on the solid media with penicillin then just write here that string of pearl appearance is shown on the solid media with penicillin by the bacillus anthracis so that's complete your difference this is very easy to remember isn't it so if you remember the anthracoid if you just remember the anthracoid then you can write whole of the difference between the bacillus anthracis and the anthracoids this is very simple to remember and if you remember in this way it will be uh, it will be written in your mind for a lifetime or for a, at least for a uh, till you give your um, prof exam it will be present in your mind till that till then so this is the way to remember the difference between the bacillus anthracis and the anthracoids